In this video, we're going into the SAPI Specialized Cellulose Factory, which is located about 40 kilometers from Durban on the Umkamas River. Here you can see the giant plant, with water vapor steaming from the chimneys as the specialized cellulose is produced. Cellulose is extracted from wood fiber and can be refined to various degrees of purity, so that it can be converted into a wide variety of specialized products in the textile and medical industries. And this is done here at this very large factory. Cellulose is extracted from trees. Hardwood timbers are used in this factory. The tree trunks are transported to the factory by truck. This massive crane makes short work of moving the logs to the chipping machine, grabbing bunches of logs as if they were toothpicks. The logs move into a very powerful chipper machine, which can produce 10,000 tons of chipped wood every day. The chipped wood is fed into a digester machine, where it's cooked to separate the lignin from the fibers of the tree. The digester is like a very large pressure cooker. Sulfurous acid, sulfur dioxide and water are added to over a hundred tons of wood and the mix is cooked for seven to eight hours. During this process the lignin in the wood dissolves. Lignin is an organic substance which binds the cells, fibers and vessels in the wood. Now in a tree Lignin binds the cellulose fibers together, giving the tree strength to grow straight up to heights of 30 meters or more. If there was no lignin in a tree, it wouldn't be able to grow straight up. It would just flop over. The lignin is removed from the fibers in a huge washing machine. The lignin mixture is then burnt as a replacement for coal in a power boiler to make steam and electricity for use in the factory. The movement of the wood through the various machines is controlled by a computer in a control room. Temperatures and volumes can be carefully set and monitored to ensure the best results. The fiber then moves to the bleaching process. As we remove a sample from the machine, we can see that the fibers are brown at this stage. To make them white, the fibers are bleached in a solution of oxygen, chlorine dioxide, caustic soda and hypochlorite. This very strong solution bleaches the fibers removing any color. Sand particles are removed from the fibers in a final washing process. By carefully managing the whole process, the purity and characteristics of the fibers are adjusted to suit the end user purposes, thus creating specialized cellulose. The specialized cellulose is now sprayed onto a wire mesh. As the mesh passes into the drying section of the machine, the sheet is dewatered. As the water is drawn off, the sheet passes over heat rollers, which remove more of the water from the sheet. The sheets can either be rolled up to produce a huge jumbo roll of cellulose, which is 5,6 meters wide and weighs 56 tons. Or it can be cut into square sheets, stacked into 200 kilogram bales and wrapped and secured with wire before being sent to the ships waiting in the harbor to be transported to America, India, Europe and many other destinations around the world. Specialized cellulose is used in the manufacture of a multitude of products. It's widely used in the manufacture of viscose textiles, and it's also used to make clothes, furnishing materials, and household cleaning wipes and sponges. Powdered cellulose is used as fillers in tablets and thickeners and stabilizers in products like ice cream, yogurt, and lipsticks. New trees are constantly grown in the sappy nurseries and planted in the KwaZulu-Natal Midlands to produce the wood that's needed to make the specialized cellulose for the global textile, food and medicine markets. <music>